10 o'clock a.m. Central Time. It's time for our Micro Moment podcast. Welcome. And we have our normal group of guys here, Randy, and, uh, and he's not in Atlanta today. Where are you, Randy? North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. Tim over in Atlanta and uh, Micah, our most most distant person out there in uh, Seattle. And myself. Yeah, he's just, he, he's and, just waking uh, up. You can see he was just waking up. You know, Exactly. Spring. Yeah. And myself in San Juan, beautiful San Juan, beautiful day again today. You know, we had rain, though, rain and thunder and lightning all night. And then about, about you know, 3.30 in the morning, it cleared up. It's beautiful. You know, we never seemed to have it during the day. Uh, we have a special thing. First time, we're now not only on YouTube, but we're on uh, on uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, 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 that's exciting, and uh, you know, have, have, hey, come here and tell us how we how we get on there. Yeah, so it's uh, I mean, it'll be there right now. So if just the main thing, go to look up on Facebook. Just look up Micro Moment Trading. Go to the page and like it. And uh, if you like the page, then you'll be notified of the upcoming live event. And you could go there right now and watch it, or you can watch it on YouTube. Either one, and okay. we'll see that we see the comments and the questions. So just post in either place. And you're good to go. So that's all the people that are listening here. That's all they have to do to, to pull it up on, uh, on Facebook. That, right? Just yeah, let's just go to the page and it'll be streaming yeah. live right now. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Um, we had a very lethargic uh, <laughs> morning on Micro Moment. I mean, it, it was hardly yesterday, yesterday. It was fantastic. And uh, a few trades, but not too many trades in the afternoon, but a ton of them in the morning. And the day before that, it was great in the afternoon and kind of slowing me out. It's going to end up being a good week. We're doing something new over there. We're taking, nobody's ever done this. And uh, to people that are already subscribed to Micro Moment, of course, get this stuff. But we're taking, you know, we always talk about, you know, if you make uh, 5% a week, you know, and 10 years it's going to compound to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're going to actually do it. We're going to actually, through Tim's Trades, uh, we took the we took the uh, fund money and split it in two. Mike, uh, uh, Mike has half of it. And Tim's got the other half, and Tim's going to be doing this for right now, um, and doing the actual trades that he does on that micro moment trade in the in the morning and in the afternoon. Doing those actually, usually they're just QQQ actually, and and we're going to post those returns on on a every Monday. You're going to get these the you know, everybody's going to get. A return, which is off of the uh, brokerage page. So it's not something we just make up and it's going to be for the week and it's going to show the return. And uh, if we make uh, uh, 5% a week, um, that uh, amount of money, which is, what is it, Tim? 16, $15,098, $15,098.37 uh, is going to turn into about 5% around yeah. uh, Two million one forty nine in twenty four months. If we get uh, six point one six percent, which is what it's running right now, it's going to be about uh, six million four hundred seventy seven thousand. And so, people they're always saying you that never believe those returns. Never believe you can do it. Well, you can do it if you take that micro moment trading. You can do it. Just you know, these those guys are on there doing it. They're telling you, you know, they're teaching you how to do it. They teach you how to read that chart, and you can do it too. And when you see them doing it. Then yeah, you know, it's going to work out. Uh, the returns are going astronomical on that. And of course, we get over to the master returns over here, uh, Randy. Uh, Randy, so how's your week going so far? Great. I just uh, while you were talking, I just did a micro moment trade. Just, you know, you're such a smart. You know what? You know, you did that part, didn't you? Did that part, <laughs> didn't you? I did. I did. I, yes, I did. And, and you, you noticed a little uh, chart. It's the it's Tim's special chart right now. <laughs> the, the tick dropped down through M1, dropped through the lower Bollinger Band, boom, the put. Got it. 3.1% return, and that was only one minute, exactly one minute. There you go. So, so that, that was my second trade for this morning because it's the, the market's been really uh, wacko today. It, well, you know, I, I don't want to say this. really Randy. has. Yeah. Randy, I don't want to say this, but, but Tim and Micah used to get out like in 15 to 20 seconds. You're in there a damn minute. No, I know. I'm, I'm older. I'm smaller. <laughs> huh? uh, that, that was, it took me a whole minute to, to make that 3.1% return. You're yeah. That, you uh, you yeah. got that set up perfectly, Randy. 
Yeah, but you see, you, you, you see the market is up and the VIX is up. When the market's yeah. up and the VIX is up, something's up. It's a, it's a while. It's a strange market today. So you got to be careful today. Yeah. Again, I want to welcome everybody and uh, go to our website on uh, microwarmingtrading.com. You can subscribe to the Cal Report, which is free. It's been published for over 20 years. It's got emails and all kinds of questions from all our clients, and these gentlemen answer them. It's really just really a great uh, little publication. It comes out every Friday, and uh, where you, you can uh, look over it over the weekend. It's usually, I don't know, a couple hundred pages. A lot of emails in there, and you can get it for free. Uh, Micromomenttrading.com, and uh, also the old uh, CompoundStockEarnings.com. The same, the same uh, information in both of them. We just hadn't discontinued the Compound Stock Earnings yet. And uh, let's see what else we have here uh, before we get going in. Oh, type in questions. Type in your questions, and you, you know we're going to read them off and answer them. Uh, whoever whoever wants to answer it, or maybe all of us will answer the same question. And uh, we already got some. I'm going to go over a minute. We got Peter, and we got. Uh, uh, strange name. This, this this must be Elon Musk. Must 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 have done this name. S T O R I. That's a uh, Landon. A R. Huh? Yeah, that's Landon, I believe. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, he just he just oh. logged in on his YouTube account. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Landon. Good to see you. He just popped up. Says good day. Oops, he just disappeared before I had a chance. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Randy and Joe, thanks for the re the refresher for Melissa and I on CC. I. Did my first yesterday on LRCX, which will get called out tomorrow uh, as the stock popped right after I did the deal. And uh, Peter, thanks for that. That's good. Yeah, so they're they're referring to two weekends ago when you did the update, the, the new or the the most recent two day covered call seminar. Yeah. So they, they reattended that after probably not being there for a while, and you get yeah. to reattend as often as you like for no additional money once you once you come the first time. So they yeah. said they finally went back to cover calls again, made six point nine percent in in two days. That's uh, that's not too bad. Well, continuing on with uh, Peter, it says I will get called out tomorrow with a six point nine percent return in two days. However, I'm curious if doing the weeklies, do I still stay at the strike suggested? In the screener, Randy. Yes, yes, because that's the positive called return strike. So that's that's being deep in the money, and that's what we want to be because the covered call, we designed the covered call deep in the money so that it will get called out with that great return. So six point two percent return in in two days to and being called out. So now he's going to get his capital back, get to reuse it again this month, and increases returns, compound the returns. That's the whole idea. It's compounding those returns. What Peter typed again is, which is what I did, 257.50, or do I need to reevaluate the profits for called and uncalled? I looked at other strikes, but it uh, seemed this was still uh, moved on me. Seems this was still the best ROI rather than going deeper in the money. So the yes. Stay in the money, though. Stay in the money. Don't be speculating and be out of the money. We, we're not speculators. We set up based on the rising cycle and being in the money so that we're locking in a, re, a return and increasing the probability that would be called out. And that's what we want to be is called out. We don't we're not speculating. We're not saying, oh, it's going up. So I'm going to sell that out of the money call to make more money. That's not what we do because we want to get called out. Yeah, Randy, pick up that uh, note there from Peter, because that's to you. Okay, well, I see Landon's question up there now. I don't see Peter's. Let me see. Uh, I'll 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 go over here. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I, well, 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 there's one. I think it's Landon. Right, that's Landon. Go ahead and do Landon's, and then we'll get to Peter again. Uh, let me see, Peter. We already did the one on the two fifty-seven fifty. No, th this uh, one says. Okay. This, this one says. says I Go have ahead. a question about LRCX cover call last week. I bought the January 21, 250 and sold the May 22, 255. The question is what happens on paper? I got a sign. Okay. The question is what happens? If you're doing paper trading, normally the, the brokers don't go in there and do the call outs and things like that. They don't pay the dividends because they, they're not making any money off of any of those trades. So they're just giving you 
the basics, buy and sell. So if you're if you should be called out, then you just go in and sell the stock because your option will be gone and you just sell the stock at that at the current price and then that's the same as being called out. It's just that the brokers won't do that in the paper trade account. Randy, why don't you pick up that one from STRI? I guess that's landing uh, at the bottom of my screen. The bottom it says, Randy, I have a question about LRCX. Yeah, that's one I just did. But Ed, oh, you did? Ed, okay, sorry. Ed just came in with one. Randy, ATSG leap from the toolbox from yesterday closed this morning for 18.43%. More leaps developing. There you go. So Ed went to the leap screener, selected uh, ATSG. And in one day, 18.43%. Incredible stuff. And the neat, nice thing about those leaps is that that's giving you incredible leverage without borrowing money. In other words, that stands in place of the stock. Instead of paying 50 bucks or 500 bucks for a stock, you buy the leak for a few bucks and uh, it's, you treat it just like it was a stock. And you can trade that sucker with covered calls two or three years, depending on how long you, you want to go out your choice just incredible leverage without using margin, which means you're not borrowing any money. So, and, and what Ed was referring to the toolbox. So the toolbox is a, a specially designed uh, set of uh, processes um, from micro moment trading. Joe developed the toolbox to, to search. It does, it searches for leaps. It searches for covered calls. It also does the calculations for the management processes that we have for the covered calls. So if, you enter a cover call. It doesn't go sideways, go slightly down or go up to be called out. We have techniques that we implement to manage that position. We don't sell for a loss. We manage that position, generating income week after week until we get called out for additional profit. It also has a chart with it. It's a pretty advanced cost. us a few million bucks to develop that chart that uh, the, the, the Randy and Mikey use it on their micro woman stuff tells them when to get in and when to get out. And that's what they're teaching you when they take the micro woman course. And that chart tells you when to do it. And then Randy uses it on his, uh, on his cover calls also. Yeah. So, and so on, on Mondays, I have a, a coaching webinar to teach how to read that advanced chart. That's what we call that advanced chart. It's 21 technical indicators all rolled into one chart. We teach you an easy process to read that chart and identify the beginning of rising cycles. When we find the beginning of the rising cycle, we buy a call and then we sell it for a profit. This week during the webinar, we identified Coca-Cola and implemented right there on the webinar, implemented Coca-Cola and sold it the next day for 4.7% return. One, one day profit, 4.7%. We call that a momentum trade. The beginning of the rising cycle, Coca-Cola, and it's even up more today. It's up another 42 cents today. So the advanced chart identified that Coca-Cola was in a new rising cycle, and therefore we got our momentum trade. One day profit. Yeah. Look how exciting uh, Lannan is. Says, That's exactly what I thought. I did exactly that. I exercised. Edward made a mistake with a leap. Uh, made a mistake. With a leap had some confusion closed and loss. I misread credit and it was a debit costly lesson, but necessary. Won't do that again. Yeah, that's going to happen, you know? Well, and that's, that's a reason to virtual trade or paper trade as you're learning because you're going to make mistakes. You're, you're, you're going to misread something. You're going to hit the wrong button. Well, you want to do that while you're practicing. So then you get good. And then you can go with with live money. So that's that's why virtual trade is so important. Randy, look at look at Tim. I think he's gone crazy. His, his uh, head going back. Yeah, he's, he keeps smiling because <laughs> another one of his setups just happened. You, the tick went through M1 and down through the lower bowl. And, yeah, and, 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 and I'm talking and reading the reading the questions. And so I, I missed that one. That, that would have been another good foot trade. Are you doing some deals, Tim? I am doing some deals. Yeah, yeah, I yeah that. that's why he's smiling and, and he's looking back and forth. And it, it, that, that's the thing, everybody. When you, you see us look, looking back and forth and turn our head, it's because yeah. we're looking at our extra screens we have and looking at the charts and in our in our trading screen and in deciding to get in and out. But while I'm reading questions, I, I can't be doing that. So so Tim got got one because I was reading the questions. I don't know, I don't, I don't what know what's up with Mike over there. He's just sitting there and just sitting there. What's going on, Mike? 
Oh, I'm just trying to uh, <laughs> trying to survive. I'm I'm pretty darn under the weather today, unfortunately. Or you really, well, unfortunately, yeah. you don't you don't look under the weather. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You feel under the weather. Oh, uh, do, we need, do we need to move for, Do we need to move further away from our screen now to make? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no respiratory issues. It's all in the all in the gut today. So, well, I, hey, I don't want to do. Let's go put our mask on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we need, Micah has to put his mask on to make sure he doesn't sneeze on there us. Go. There you go. I we think. want to get those airborne droplets to come through here. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. He's ready. There you go. <laughs> he wants to wants to make sure he doesn't infect his wife at all. So he's right. got to wear that wear that in in, in the home there. That's Tim, right. What, what are those on your fingers? Did you cut off the tips? Oh my fingers? gosh, my uh, my wife brought home this uh, vegetable spiralizer, oh last night, and I was setting it up, and I nicked I nicked this finger, and then I put the blade in, and I. Darn near cut off the top of my finger. Oh, uh, it. I mean, I just brushed by it. This thing was so sharp, it cut off half my uh, fingernail and just pulled it right off. I'm sure Ooh. I can it last night with my vegetables, but got pretty good oh, uh, wow. cut on that last night. So <laughs> it's real awkward typing in. I have a there, there's a friend of mine who knows, um, I do this call uh, every Thursday and she sends me funny pictures and text trying to make me crack up uh because she knows i'm on this and it's really kind of mean actually but i love her so <laughs> it's all good it's all good anyway but it's you know it's very hard to type without these two fingers <laughs> So, so, so you can really do a fat finger trade today yeah yeah i gotta be careful i gotta be careful I screwed up that that put <laughs> uh, getting out and doing myself to close on that put. Here's Landon again, says another question about leaps versus the stock. I put on the AMAT leap yesterday. It called for buying the July 50 strike and selling the June 59.5 strike. I thought that leaps were much further out than two months. Oh, no. No, you can go out a couple of years. How, how, how far will they go out, Randy? Well, the, the screener comes up with the, the right uh, combination because there's a whole set of rules with yeah. uh, the differences between the the deltas and, and all kinds of things and sometimes they might just be July sometimes it might be out to January of next year it's it could be anywhere in between and so it's just uh, it's a it the the leaps acronym it deals with the CBOE definition of what they call a leap in our leaps technique it just means that we're using a far out call and then buying that and selling an, a closer term call. So it's not exactly a covered call, but it's, it, it is a covered call from that perspective, but it's not the same as the weekly cover calls that I teach on, on Wednesdays, but it's the same kind of concepts that you're entering the position, waiting for it to go up and then exiting for a profit. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let me see. Got some more questions. Oh, oh, here's our here's our professional greeter, Martha. Says that uh, for Micah. Sorry, you're feeling bad, Micah. There you go. Oh, that's all good. No problem, Martha. I appreciate it. Yep. yep. Martha's always nice on on the uh, micro Yep. Yeah, she's so. the best. She's the best. We love her. Yeah, but Joe, Joe, to, to to continue on with that, the the covered calls. So on. On Wednesdays, I teach a, a two-hour live in the money or live in the market. It's sometimes, but live live in the market coaching webinar as well, where we take the traditional covered call, which is buy the stock, sell the call. We we take that concept to the next level, and instead of buying the stock, we buy a, an option to be the long position, and then sell a, a one against it, similar to the leaps, but more in the near week. And so we can, as Joe mentioned, we can leverage our capital to where instead of paying $300 for Apple, then we're just buying a coal for $3. And so it uses a lot less money, but still gets the returns on, on those positions. So last week, the closeouts were uh, first solar, 5.7%. 
return using uh, $4.73 a share as the uh, invested capital. JP Morgan, 14.9%, only 87 cents a share invested. GILD, 11.1%, only 90 cents a share invested. Home Depot, 7.7% return with only $2.32 invested. So there's one that's hundreds of dollars to buy if you buy the stock. I invested only $2.32 a share and generated 7.7% return. Uh, TLT, which is a bond ETF, 8.6% return with only $1.38 invested. Uh, Teladoc, that's that telecommunications. You see the doctor over the screen and somehow he figures out exactly what's wrong with you. Maybe you touch the screen or something, I don't know. And then he makes you better over the internet. 70% return, 70, oh. 70% return. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Only a dollar 47 per share invested. And that was for uh, only a week. The, the, these are only in and out in, in a week. And Amazon, and we know Amazon is $2,400 if you want to buy the stock. I invested only $4.65. 6.0% return. That was for one day. Entered it on Thursday, got out on Friday. So some of yeah, these, yeah, these, these are real deals in his own account. And he's, he's been doing this with us now for 15 or 16 years. And uh, I know he looks a lot older, but uh, he's been doing it. He's been doing it a long time. Mike has actually been with us for 12 years. He had just uh, didn't look his age. Between me and Micah, See, look at this. See, mine is all gray and his is all dark. That's right. There you go. Mike, be careful. It won't be too long where yours is going to look like this as well. I've already pulled a couple of years out of it for sure already. And, he, and, and, and Tim is right in between us. He's got some gray and some yep. and some dark still in his mustache. He hasn't quite got to the all gray yet. And, and yep. I only have a little teeny bit left that's that, that's not gray yet. It's But up here... That's all real. There's, there's no grease no formula up there. It's still dark. I don't have a lot of gray hair yet, but it's all in my hair. Did you answer, nice. Lance, uh, uh so on the LEAP screener, do we sort by the uncalled return of the DLB index? Those are two different processes. Yeah. There, so you could either sort by the uncalled return or the DLB because those are two different LEAPs techniques. Okay. And then, uh, Edward, I think this is new. So while the markets are slow, I spend my time setting up and evaluating covered calls and leaps. So I am creating a list that I go through daily and charts looking for the entry points. Yeah. yeah. So he's already, he's got his list. Yeah. It's kind of like a watch list. And then, then he starts looking through the charts to find the one that meets the criteria for the entry. So that's, that's a great the market slow, he said, so he doesn't have anything else to do. He's building his his criteria up, and then he finds a position where he's ready to jump in it. Okay, here's one from Carl. Uh, hi, can you discuss your six micro trades? I'm not sure what that is. Do you enter between the bid and the ask? Uh, what delta? When do you know? What you know to, to exit? Oh. That's Those good. are probably SPX. SPX. She, she, she probably uh, hit the F instead of the P. That, that okay. Those are the SPX is what I use for the micro moment trading, and so she's saying uh, between the bid and the ask. Uh, yes, I do. I because the spreads are bigger on the SPX. So Micah and Tim, their spreads are like a penny. So there's really hardly anything between the bid and the ask. But on SPX, it's usually 30 or 40 cents between the bid and the ass. So, yes, when I enter my uh, desire for buying, then I put in the mid, and then I might have to adjust it to raise it up slightly in order to enter. Uh, the delta that I use, I'm usually one or two strikes out of the money, typically one strike out of the money. The delta is usually in the 0.4 range. Yeah. Uh, and when I know to exit, I immediately put an order in to close it as soon as it's filled. And so I, I'm not watching the charts because these are fast. So as soon as I enter the position, I put an order in to close it. And that 
it's typically for um, two, three, four percent return, about 30 or 40 cents per share. OK, this is from Frank. Frank, you shouldn't have asked this question. You should not. I really shouldn't even read it. I'm going to. It says, Randy, I'm so, so impressed with the returns you get. Do you know what the percentage gains you had for 2019 over your whole account? You shouldn't have asked this, Frank. Go ahead. I, I, I don't because I don't I don't really calculate that. I just look at every return and make sure I have a profit on each of those and what whatever ends up as overall. I, I just don't cal calculate what the whole year would be. It's going to be a couple hundred percent at least. Yeah. Um, now, what 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 the difference between Randy and Tim and Micah's trades, but Tim and Micah's trade, Randy has this sort of version of the uh, micro moment. And sometimes he messes up, and gets out of them real quick and says his design is to let it run two or three minutes. Uh, where Tim and Micah get out of things within, you know, 15, 20 seconds, uh, they're out, they're done with it, it's over. They don't have any money in the market. And it doesn't make any difference which way the market's going in the morning, up, down, and different. They're, they're going to trade the, the volume. They make astronomical returns on a daily basis. Like uh, yesterday, what was it? 24 plus the evening, you know, 30 something. They, they make 30, 40, 50% a day on average. I think they well, well, for, the last, uh, for the last 60 uh, some odd, uh, 56 weeks, they, they, they made 5,000, 5, so say 5,377.69 5, cents with their micro moment trades. And that's 97.78 a week. And uh, so both of these guys are making, and these are real dollars. These are real money. To clarify, that is the, on the individual trades. That's not on the whole account. We didn't 56 times an account. We, those are on the, on the, on your allocation. So. Yeah. Now that's, what's interesting about this, this, this fund account that we're doing. And we're, we're doing the, uh, uh, you know, we're taking really, you know, we're trying to make uh 1% a day at least. And uh, that's where you grow that 15,000 into several millions of dollars in 24 months. And, uh, but when he, when Tim's trading, that's not everything in that account at one time, but that's the overall return on the account. Some things you don't trade at all. And uh, at any one moment, and that's where you, you're doing 10 contracts or hundred contracts. Sometimes, you know, you're very in that. So like Micah said, right. it's not on the whole account, you know, uh, Peter, MMT, can you explain the thought process for using SPY and QQQ rather than stocks like Microsoft? Sure. Uh, I'll answer that if you want, but let me, let me answer that. Put, the, oh, put yeah. that back up. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For MMT, can you explain the thought process for using SPY and QQQ rather than stocks? Now, Micah would give a much more detail than what I'm going to give. But we people tend to get with the stock to stay with it, like Deshaun, who does incredible stuff return wise, just uses uh, SPY. SPY, uh, right. Tim just uses QQQ. Micah uses SPY. I mean, the, you know, uh, the, a, good, a stock's not going to go out of business is, is all you be concerned with. I mean, you know, uh, just kind of, you, if you use the same stock all the time, you get to know it just like you would a kid. And uh, you can anticipate things and uh, versus trying to fly all over the place with all kinds of different stocks and, and, and you don't really have any feel for, you know, I mean, I think uh, Randy would even agree with that because he uses pretty much the same stocks all the time. Also over on the covered call side, Mike, would you tend to agree with that? Yeah, 100%. Um, it's not really anything with uh, spy and Q specifically. Uh, we just want a lot of volume. So we have people that trade, like Joe said, you know, Apple spy Q. Um, spy just has a ridiculous amount of volume. There's, I mean, I'm looking at, three back-to-back -back puts right now, the 303, 4, and 5. And they're at 38,000, 56,000, and 42,000 contracts traded on the day. They're all over a dollar, almost $2. Yeah. Um, so you just have millions and millions of dollars being exchanged on on just SPY, just Q. Yeah. Um, when you and get into some of those companies, it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen on Intel. Um, this is Intel, but it's not better. This is only technique where we don't get psyched out about worrying about where the market's going to go up or down like most speculators do. We don't care. We just want it to trade. You know, we don't care which way it goes because we're going to make our money with the stocks going down. We're going to make them going up because we're trading the volume. So, and it's also good to use the same one over and over again. So you get used 
to that. You 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 know how that chart is moving and what it's doing. If you're constantly switching from equity to equity to equity, it, it's like you're always, um, as Joe would say, you're always dating a brand new girl every night. And that's you don't get to know them. You want to get to know that chart and and know the idiosyncrasies between what it's doing and how the spreads are working and those types of things. It's, yeah. it's best to find one and stick with it. Well, they are they are different. If you're trading IWM and SPY, let's let's take the most two different like the two most different IWM and Apple. If you're trading IWM and Apple on Micro Moment, you are in a completely different spot on both. You can look at the charts; the, the chain moves differently. The sizing is completely different. Um, IBM is very smooth and slow, and Apple is known to just take instant, huge, you know, back and forth all the time. So, um, you know, and that's within the overall movement. Everybody thinks that, you know, if the market's down, all the charts, you know, they see the the, the day chart, and all the charts, you know, do their thing uh, throughout the day. But when you granular, you know, when you're when you're that granular, where you're zoomed in from eight hours down to 15 minutes there's there's a lot more differences you can see between them so that's why we just say pick one it doesn't really matter which one though when we started this uh these seminars my daughter Cezanne and her friend Joni were teaching them this was just several years ago and uh, they're doing the same thing these guys are doing now they just weren't as fast they weren't getting in and out they, they never did any, anything overnight but they, they may be in something you know five or ten minutes and Cezanne only traded Apple. Joni only traded IWM. And to the extent she traded Apple, she even got a notice one time from the SEC that they were watching her, the volume. <laughs> really? <laughs> On Ooh, Apple. Yeah, that's unusual. That's, that's unusual. <laughs> so, but yeah. She, and she still does it. She's, uh, I mean, she still does it, yeah. But uh, so. Wow. Yeah. So. What a, what a terrible. I mean, not a terrible day, but just back and forth, man. Yeah. Back and forth, back and forth. Not not anything really established all day. I think that open, um, how mixed everything was on the open, like Randy mentioned, really kind of caused us a day of. I see. Here, here's Brian coming out, and Martha's already hooked up, hooked up with it. Brian, did I correctly hear you to say you <laughs> argue against dating a new girl every night? Uh <laughs> Brian, I didn't say that. Who said that? Well, you, yeah. you can't take advice from me because I dated my wife for five years before we got married. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. And, and we've been married for 45 years. So there you go. Uh, well, I've known my wife since we were in the seventh grade. I sat behind her. She was a whole I was a hooper. And she didn't like me. She hated me because I used to pull her hair. <laughs> she wouldn't speak to me for most of I didn't really see her again until until many years later because she wouldn't even talk to me. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, let's see if we get any once we have it read here. We got plenty of time, guys. It's uh we usually run from about eleven forty five and it's eleven thirty three. So we got if you got some questions here, just keep them coming. Here, here's my coffee cup, Joe, that I got on the cruise that we had in uh, Hawaii. Oh was to say badass? Yeah, it's it's a Kona Coffee Company. That's their name. Oh but, yeah. So, so I, I got that one out because we that was our that was our seven day cruise out there through Hawaii. Oh oh, I just got another profit. Uh oh oh <laughs> oh. Let's see what that was. 50, oh, right. uh, I just a four point one percent return while we were talking there. When did you get into it? It just filled. I got in at 11.31 and 54 seconds and, oh. and out at 11.33 and 32 seconds. So that was a minute and a half. Was that, was that, a, was that a micro moment trade? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, a, it was a put on, uh, on in SPX. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it, it, I mean, I'm still watching yeah. the charts and while well, I'm looking at my coffee cups and it, it just it just made me a profit. Randy, Randy mentioned the cruise. Uh, beautiful <laughs> Pride of America was about huge, and it's it's the only registered cruise ship, and it was absolutely gorgeous. The a, a U.S. registered cruise ship. It's an all American crew, and it was just a fantastic seven day cruise amongst all the islands. And we take cruise. We've been uh, over to uh, the Mediterranean. Uh, everybody flew over to Spain. We had um, a couple hundred people on that one, and we go down to the uh, the Caribbean because it's obviously closer on seven day cruises. And uh, where else have we been, uh, Randy? Uh, 
the, the Bahamas was the first one. Very first one, yeah. And it was just a couple of days, and uh, but then we got to the second one. We've taken a lot of them, so uh, they're fun. Yeah, they always have yeah. a good time. Yeah, Brian says, uh, Joe, at least you didn't dip her hair into an inkwell. Yeah, now, Brian, I didn't say I didn't. <laughs> uh, what do you got else here? We got. Oh, and we uh, we had a, and hadn't had one in a long time. Uh, well, no, a couple things we've had. We, we, we had, even though we've only been doing this as a subscription service 56 weeks, we have had one. Uh, micro moment uh, seminar in Fort Worth. People actually there. We didn't do it online. We usually do it in person and online. We didn't because we uh, had never done one. And we wanted to have it organized first. It went real, real, real well. Uh, Micah was was uh, part of that seminar, and uh, Tony, who's who's uh, in the service, and had to leave us. He'll probably be back, and uh, Tim Tim will be there the next time also. But uh, we always have a big cocktail party when everybody arrives on a Friday night, and we have we buy a big dinner on a Saturday night, and the and the seminar used last couple of days. In that in that case, they're always in Fort Worth now, in uh, uh, downtown Fort Worth. So they're pretty neat. Randy's been to a thousand of them, and uh, I remember Randy. We were having a we were having a seminar. What, what, what seminar was that? Randy Chicago, where we you made your very first introductory speech. That, that was a master yeah. seminar. And master just, seminar. And there were hundreds, hundreds of people there, hundreds of people there. And we, we charted a big ship. We went on a cruise for dinner uh, in between the things, two days. Yep. Yep. And on, uh, Lake Randy, Michigan, right? Yeah, Randy got up for the first time. He was really nervous to speak to the crowd. And his wife was sitting right in front of me. And she, you know, she was the one that was nervous. I thought yep. she was going to have a heart attack. Yep. yep. You know, it, she could barely handle it. That's right. Yeah. But we had a good time. That was in Chicago. And we've had these things all over the place. Uh, it is it is nerve wracking to start up here. Like it really is. You know, there's a lot of I'm I'm the most impressed I've been with anyone is Tim, actually, how smoothly he transitioned into teaching. Because it yeah. does like it's a lot of like I didn't I didn't realize it when I was first starting. Micah, Micah, this is a guy that cut his fingers off. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's going to be hard to play your guitar for a little bit there. Too. Oh, I can't. I can barely play piano. You All can right. play bass. Play what? Bass. Well, that's bass. it. Well, that's it. And the bass, you go here. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. That'd be hard. Yeah, I, think so. uh, I, just, I just don't want to make any huge issue, you know, huge error in trading. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Okay, we did that. But Peter says, uh, you know, can you explain the thought process of use by QQ rather than others? We talked about that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what else we got here? You go to the top. These have already been discussed, right? The new ones come yeah. in at the bottom, right? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Everything. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's say Randy gives multiple, multiple presentations each week uh, online. And you subscribe to his services. You can find out all about those if you go to our website, www.micromontraining.com. The prices, uh, anything he gives away, uh, uh, how many he has, when he has them. And he's been doing this a long, long time and got a lot of support from all our clients. Tim and Micro are on there. And uh, they just have the one thing, which is the uh, Micro Moment, which is totally different than uh, the returns are you know, comparable but to, to Randy's, but uh, Randy's stuff is totally different. There's more management involved. There's no there's no rules on micro moment trading with Tim and Micah. They have one rule. When that sucker, you get into it, if it turns red, you get out of it. You get out. Of it. You don't stop and wait for it to go the other way. That's speculation. Because if you get out of it, wham, you lose one or two cents. That's nothing wrong with that because you're going to turn around five minutes later and probably get into three more deals and make, you know, 15, 20 cents each today and yesterday we had clients because they report when they were doing those seminars in the morning and then the afternoon making you know 10 15 25 30 cents one guy yesterday made 70 cents or something like that 84 know? 84 cents 84. that is huge. yeah what what was that on micah uh that was okay yeah was oh, day, i might be thinking about the day before yesterday there's no, on spy puts i want to say yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Had, was, uh, also two clients had their best day ever at 39 and 40 cents on the day. Uh, yeah. They broke, both broke their personal records, which was really cool. Yeah. To see. Wow. So Peter said, Peter said for weekly fast cash slash time decay is extremely is extreme. If I'm not getting called out, should I consider buying on Friday afternoon for next Friday? Are you talking about Noah? Certainly not on a uh, micro moment. You never do that. Yeah. You no, never. Weekly. But, so, but on, the, on, on the weekly cover calls is what he might be referring to. Uh, I am reluctant to enter too many positions on Friday for the next week. Too much can go on over the weekend. So unless it's just a really, 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 really good chart set up and um, premium for the options, uh, I'm waiting until Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday to get in positions that expire on that Friday. Not not looking for some kind of news breaking over the weekend that totally sends the market down. That's the beautiful thing about the macro moment is you're never in it overnight. So anything can happen. And we know it doesn't make any difference if it opens down or up the next day because we're going to trade it anyhow. Pat, okay. Pat, I can't make the compounding numbers come up nearly as much as you say in the example. You must be betting 100% of the account each time. How much of your total account do you invest each time? Absolutely not wrong, Pat, because you can't make a compounding anyhow unless you use the compounding calculator. It's impossible. So if you think you're doing that, you're all wrong. You need to go somewhere else to do something else. Uh, I can't believe you think you're going to be able to compute compounding without the compounding calculator. Uh, must be must be betting 100% of the account each time. No, you don't. Uh, we're, we, we are doing in the, in the fund real live numbers where people can see what we're compounding. And uh, Tim, you know, he doesn't use hardly much of the account at all. It doesn't make any difference that the returns that we come up with are based on the whole account as if he's doing the whole thing. He's still coming up with, with uh, you know, but he'll come up with five, six, seven trades in one day. And they'll be from, you know, 2% to 4% sometimes 5% amongst all those trades and you spread it out on a daily basis over everything in the, all the money in that account, it comes out pretty significant. But yeah. you, you waste your time trying to demand unless you, unless you got a calculator. So. Yeah, it's, Go ahead. Uh, it's more akin to an amortization list uh, for compounding interest. Uh, very hard to calculate. You'd have to do it every day, but let me just, let me just, um, anything else. Um, you know, my, my account is cash only. There's no margin. Okay. So I only use what cash is in that account. Um, and a lot of days, you know, end of day, you may see two contracts, one contract. Um, Cause I'm trying, I am trying to use as much money as I can to make trade, to make smart trades, not just to trade up the account. You know, there are days when, uh, available money or option BP as it shows on uh, TOS could be a dollar. Um, so I try to be as efficient uh, with the money uh, that I have each day. So, you know, with margin, when we were doing margin or had margin or accounts, that was a different deal, but that's. Well, you don't need margin. It's just like. Just like Randy and his leaps, you don't need margin when you're doing micro moment because you're you're not paying anything for those options. You know, buck fifty, two bucks for the option anyhow. And that stock, right. if you're doing an Apple option and paying three or four bucks for it, and the stock's going for three or four hundred, you know, that's why you get the advantage of of, of using the in, in Randy's business the leaps and their business the uh, the options because you know you're doing astronomical things with uh, you know. Well, you can, also, that, also we've got the best yeah, leverage. Yeah that you can have in trading, you know, yeah. between, between and uh, MMT, you just can't do a better, have a better leverage situation. Okay, guys, we got one more minute. One well, more minute. Also just along those lines, say you have 10,000 in your account, you trade $1,000 10 times. So you're trading 10,000 over the day, but you're never risking more than that $1,000 at a time. And that's how you compound. It just keeps growing. And, and that's what Tim's talking about with the cash account. They may say you can only trade up to 10,000, but you don't do it all on one trade. You're doing a thousand, then a thousand, then a thousand, then it's the same money over and over and over again. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, Pat, you've got, you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of, uh, 
uh, spec words in your message there. I can't make the compounding numbers come up nearly as much as you say in the example. That's because you're not using a calculator. You know what the hell you're doing. You must be betting 100% of the account each time. We don't bet, Pat. We don't bet anything. How much of your total account do you invest each time? You know, yeah, I, I, quite frankly, I don't even figure it. You know, so you know, it, it just, it just, you know, like it's not real planned out like that. It's real simple. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks, everybody, for being here. We really appreciate it. And um, we'll just hopefully see everybody next Thursday and we'll see a lot of people in the morning. And, and you know, if you're not, if you're not presently subscribing to Micro Moments, you ought to. And then, and then just follow this, this new thing where Tim's doing the trades and you can follow those trades. You can turn, uh, you know, a few thousand bucks into, you can turn $2,000 total, never put another penny in. You can turn it into over 800,000 bucks in 24 months. And, uh, and you'll see those. You'll see them, you know, every Monday. You'll see the previous weeks. Yep. And, uh, and guys, I will be back on, I'm going to come back on this afternoon, uh, which is three hours from now, 245 Eastern. And we will put out a notice, of course. And myself and possibly Micah will be back on if he's feeling better. Yeah, I'll do my best. I am going to go to bed. <laughs> go yeah. To bed. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel bad. No, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Hope well, you get feeling better before the weekend. You will have a crummy weekend being yeah, sick. I got I to gotta get out in the sun again. Maybe that's what it was. I went out in the sun yesterday and actually, like, Spent some time outside, maybe it's <laughs> that, 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 that was a sensory overload to your body. You actually get that after all those hours inside. Well, you gotta watch out yeah. for that. When I take off this watch, I have a very white circle right there. Good. And down on my on my on my on my feet, you know, wearing like thongs and stuff, you know. Sandal lines, yeah. Yeah, 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 everything, you know. So because uh, you're you're always in the sun down there, particularly when yeah. you don't have a car, you're getting around by golf cart. Yeah. So, okay, guys, thanks very much. And everybody that's been here, thank you all very much. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday, and, and we'll see you tomorrow morning if you want to. Stay, stay okay. safe. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.